Today I want to talk to you about an information disclosure statement or IDS. What it is, how to file it, and why you want to file it as well as some common questions you might have. What is an information disclosure statement? It's basically a document that you file with the patent office that lists all of the prior art that you know of. The patent office wants you to tell them of the prior art that they can use to reject your application. After all, you're in the best position to tell them what is the closest prior art out there. If you don't tell the patent office all of the prior art that you know of, that they could use to reject your application, then when it comes time to enforcing your patent against an infringer, the infringer could or will accuse you of failing to satisfy your duty of candor and good faith. If the court believes them, your patent will be invalidated. So how do you fill out the information disclosure statement? To submit the information disclosure statement, you download the IDS PTO form. This document will tell you what information you need to submit. The first two sections are for U.S. patents and U.S. pre-grant publications. The second section is referring to applications that have been published. They are not patents. Rather, they are merely publications of applications that have been filed and published. You can tell the difference between a U.S. patent and a U.S. patent application publication by the numbers at the upper right corner of the document. You don't have to submit these documents to the patent office but only need to list them in this form. For foreign patent documents, you have to list them and also submit an English translation of the document. The easiest way to get the English translation of a foreign patent document is to go to Google Patents and search for that document. Download a machine translation of the foreign patent document. Next, you have to list and submit all non-patent literature. These are all other documents that you know of that are related to your invention. For example, did you offer an earlier version of your invention more than one year before the filing of your application? Do you know of anyone else that has a similar product as your invention? If yes, you have to list these things here. The important part in this section is that you have to list the publication date for these documents or events. If you don't know the exact date of the publication, but you know that it was published before your application's filing date, you can use at least as early as, then insert your application's filing date. Now, if you don't list the publication date, the examiner won't consider it. Next, you have to fill out the certification statement. If you're submitting the IDS within three months after the filing date of your application or before the first office action on the merits, just check off the bottom certification statement. Now, if you're submitting the IDS after the first office action, then you have to read through 37 CFR 1.97 and 1.98 links of which are in the description below to figure out if you have to check off one of the two certification statements and or pay a fee. You might not remember all of the prior art that you looked at when you initially thought about filing your application, but here are some reminders for you. If you had searched for prior art on your own to see if your invention was novel, then try to find those prior art references that you had saved on your computer. If you had a patent attorney conduct a novelty search, then the results of that search should be included in the IDS. If you made any offers for sale more than one year before filing your application on a related product, then that's prior art to you as well. Any web pages that you published or demonstrations that you made are also considered prior art. Now let's say that you don't believe that you have any prior art to submit. The question would be, do you have to look for prior art to submit in the IDS? And the answer is no. All that they're looking for is for you to disclose what you know of, not to search. They only want you to be truthful in what you know of. 